Hello everyone, this is Teacher Peter, and today we're going to be taking a look at another reader. This one is called Geronimo Stilton, Attack of the Killer Whale. Alright, let's get started. So, we can see here, this is the inside cover of the book, and we don't see any new information. All we see is the title again, Geronimo Stilton, Attack of the Killer Whale. So who do you think Geronimo Stilton is? Is he a dog? Or maybe he's a mouse or a rat. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Geronimo Stilton. Geronimo and his family are going to the Arctic. The Arctic is a very, very cold place, a very cold part of the world. Geronimo is a journalist. He wants to find out about the Arctic. A journalist is a person who writes for the TV or newspaper to tell everybody about the world. Thea is Geronimo's sister. She wants to find out about icebergs. Trap is funny. He likes taking photos. And we can see some other characters too. We see a boy named Benjamin. We see a captain named Captain Ingram. And we see a guy named Ramon. Ramon works on Captain Ingram's boat. Of course, we also see this animal here. This is a killer whale. We also call killer whales orcas. They are very, very big uh, animals, kind of like dolphins, uh, but a little bit different from normal whales. So let's look at these words. We have boat, lock, cell, Attack, catch, police, window, baby, iceberg, sail is a verb, sailor is a noun, the person who sails. Say cheese, this last one is special, uh, we say say cheese when we're going to take a photo and then everybody in the photo will say cheese because it looks like you're smiling when you say cheese okay all right so those are the vocabulary words all right one more time boat this is a boat lock he's locking the door sell the shop sells bags attack the birds are attacking the cat catch I can't catch it. Police. The police have got a man. Window. There are three windows. Baby. Iceberg. Sail. And say cheese. Alright, let's get started with the story. Attack of the Killer Whale, Chapter 1. In the Arctic. Geronimo Stilton, said Captain Ingram. We're happy you're here in the Arctic. Thank you, Captain, said Geronimo. Ramon, shouted Captain Ingram. Take Geronimo and his family to their rooms. So who is Ramon? This man is Ramon. Can I have a room next to the kitchen, please? Asked Trap. I'm always hungry. No, you can't, said Ramon. These are your rooms. Ramon opened a door. Our room is very small, said Geronimo. Yes, and very dark, said Benjamin. Next morning, Trap waited for Thea in a small boat. Where are we going? asked Trap. To see the icebergs, said Thea. Great, I can take some photos, said Trap. Let's go, said Thea. Chapter 2 The Killer Whale Geronimo and Benjamin stayed on the boat. The icebergs are beautiful, said Geronimo. Boom! Crash! Something jumped out of the sea and attacked the boat. What's that? asked Benjamin. Wow! It's a killer whale, said Geronimo. Why is it attacking the boat? asked Benjamin. I don't know, answered Geronimo. Benjamin and Geronimo phoned Thea. Stay on this iceberg, said Benjamin. Why? asked Thea. There's a killer whale here, and it's very angry, said Geronimo. The killer whale attacked the boat again. Quick, said Captain Ingram, let's sail behind those icebergs. 
The killer whale can't find us here, laughed the sailors. <laughs> Captain, said Geronimo, what about Fia and Trap? They can't see us behind the icebergs. We can find them soon, said Ramon. Why don't you wait in your room? Geronimo and Benjamin went back to their room. This is not good, said Geronimo. Ramon quietly locked the door behind them. And I've got the Ben pad, he laughed. They can't talk to Thea and Trap now. Thea phoned Benjamin. He isn't answering, said Thea. Why, asked Trap. Benjamin always has his Ben pad with him. Let's go back to the boat, said Thea. Can you go slowly, please, said Trap. Of course, said Thea. Oh, no. Chapter 3. The Ben Pad Geronimo, my Ben Pad isn't here, said Benjamin. Someone's got it. Let's ask Ramon, said Geronimo. I can't open the door, said Benjamin. Ramon locked it. Oh no, said Geronimo. Boom, crash. The killer whale's back, said, Geron said Benjamin. What can we do, asked Geronimo. We can't stay here. No, we can't said Benjamin, and he opened the window. Help me, Geronimo. I can go out of the window. Are you okay? asked Geronimo. Yes. Thanks, Uncle G, shouted Benjamin. Benjamin saw Ramon and Captain Ingram. He quickly jumped into a small boat. Ramon and the captain were angry. How can we stop the killer whale? asked Ramon. I know, said Captain Ingram. I'm going to catch it. Benjamin opened the door for Geronimo. Let's find the Ben Pad, said Geronimo. Look, what's in here? They went into a dark room. There's a baby killer whale, said Benjamin. The killer whale is its mother, said Geronimo. Oh no, shouted Benjamin. Quick, stop the captain. He wants to catch the baby's mother. Okay, let's stop there for just a second. So a lot of things have happened. We see that Geronimo Stilton and his friends are on this boat traveling to the Arctic, but an animal attacks their boat. Question, what animal attacks their boat? Ding, ding, ding. Hopefully you said the killer whale. Now we just learned something important. Why does the killer whale want to attack the boat? Why does the killer whale want to attack the boat? Ding ding ding! Hopefully you said it's because the boat has a baby killer whale. The captain is a bad guy. He and his buddy want to trap the killer whale. The captain and the sailors looked for the killer whale. Where are you, mommy killer whale? asked the captain. We're waiting for you. Benjamin and Geronimo watched the sailors. Look, said Benjamin, one of those sailors has got my Ben pad. Oh yes, said Geronimo, let's take it. Benjamin walked very quietly up to the sailor. I've got it, said Benjamin. Chapter 4. Stop the captain. The killer whale attacked the boat again. Captain, the killer whale is angry, shouted Geronimo. Give the baby to her. No, shouted in Captain Ingram. I want to sell the baby and buy a new boat. You can't stop me, Geronimo. Suddenly, Trap was there on the boat in front of the captain. Hey, Captain, can I take your photo, said Trap. Say cheese. What are you doing, Trap, shouted the captain. I can't see the killer whale. Go away. The captain was very angry. Stop Geronimo Stilton, he shouted. The sailors ran after Geronimo and Benjamin. Benjamin had his Ben Pad with him. Benjamin, don't play with your Ben Pad now, said Geronimo. Run! The sailors stopped Geronimo and Benjamin. Oh no, the sailors have got us, said Geronimo. They're big, strong, and very, very angry. What are we gonna do? Look, it's the police, shouted Trap. I phoned them on the Ben Pad, said Benjamin. That's great, said Thea. Captain Ingram can't sell the baby killer whale now. Trap, Benjamin, Thea, and Geronimo looked at the killer whales in the sea. I never liked Captain Ingram, said Trap. He was not a good man. Yes, but look, the killer whales are happy now, said Geronimo. 
Goodbye, killer whales, shouted Benjamin. Say cheese, said Thea, and everyone laughed. So there's one weird word that keeps coming up again and again in this story. That is bend pad. What is a bend pad? Well, in the real world, a bend pad is not a real thing. We have iPad. But we call it a bend pad in this book because it's a joke. Because the boy's name is Benjamin, which when we shorten it, that's Ben. So his iPad, or something like his iPad, is called the Ben Pad. That's why they keep trying to get this pad, because it can make phone calls and do many different things. All right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story. That's it for us today. And uh, remember to come back and watch this video again when you need to practice. This is a great book for practicing a lot of different words. It's nice and long, but also the words are not too tough. So it's easy enough for most people to understand. I hope you had a good time, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.